One of the constant challenges is dealing with reflections in shiny metallic parts. And how does machine vision solve these complexities and challenges? Hi, my name is Raghava Kashipa, CEO of Qualitas Technologies. And this is a common problem that we see across the board, is you have shiny objects, you want to inspect it, but you have to deal with the reflection and the uneven lighting that comes with it. Now, there's a couple of ways to deal with this challenge, and the best way to deal with it is to remove it entirely. And how do you do that? So, when you think about reflection, it means there is some uneven distribution of light covering the surface. So there's, when there's a concentrated um, area which has more light reflecting into the camera sensor from one area of a particular target object, you're gonna see this reflection. And it happens when there is an uneven surface, like a round surface. So when it's closer to the light source, you know, um, you're gonna see that reflected light energy coming back and hitting the sensor causing this reflective um, region within the image. Now, one way to deal with that is to you know, use a very uh, uniformly illuminated lighting structure. So what I have here in front of me is, for instance, what we call a dome light. Now, dome light is a half hemispherical light source with small LEDs right at the bottom of this uh, source. Now, what, what it does is it basically, it indirectly illuminates the object. So the light source is, is actually being reflected off this white surface and it's then um, illuminating the target object. And there's a camera which is inside that looking into this uh, hole and it then gets a very evenly illuminated light. So there's light in all direction and there's no one area which has a concentrated light source. Another way of solving this is to use polarizers. So this polarizer has this effect of filtering light sources and aligning the light rays which are only coming in uniformly in one direction. So you have linear polarizers and circular polarizers. So depending on you know, what you want to uh, filter out, you could use that as well. So reflection, specularity, etc., is best taken care of at the light source. But let's say you still have to deal with it. How do you actually, you know, um, you know, handle that in spite of your best efforts in, in handling that at the light source. The other way to do that is, you know, using some kind of an AI or a deep learning based solution. So, you know, when you teach a system with sufficient examples and you have, you know, sufficient training images which uses various degrees of illumination and lighting conditions, the system is intelligent enough to learn and pick up those variations and be able to apply that when it sees similar kind of images coming into the future production lines. So um, it is a challenge, but there are ways to deal with it. So the next time you come up with some kind of a challenge where you have to deal with shiny reflective surfaces, think of any of these options below and uh, hope this video was uh, enlightening. Thank you.